The goal is to share the spirit of Christmas with 3,000 foster kids, and that's why News 8 is excited to partner with Promises to Kids for their annual Give from the Heart toy drive. Promises to Kids CEO Tanya Tarosian and Guardian Scholar Neftali Ramos joining us this morning. Good morning to you ladies. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Tanya, we're so excited to partner with you on this. Tell us a little bit about how long you've been putting on this toy drive and its incredible impact on the community. Yeah, so we partnered with the Building Owners uh, Mattress Association, so BOMA, and okay. it started over 25 years ago. So it's grown and grown. We uh, reach the 3,000 foster youth every year. Um, wow. We're wondering how this year is going to go with the pandemic, but uh, but we're moving ahead and hopeful that we're going to be able to gather about 18,000 gifts to be uh, distributed amongst uh, the children. Well, News 8 is here to help you with that. So we're hoping our viewers, which they usually do, they step up in a big way here. So what, what are age groups are we looking for? We're looking at video here, we're looking at bikes, looking at some, some kids' toys. But what are the kind of age groups that people can, can help out with? Yeah, so all the way from birth, all the way up into their teens and uh, early 20s, uh, those kids that are aging out of foster care that are in Guardian Scholar. So um, the need always is for those older kids. So focusing on age 10 and up and specifically teenage gifts are, are something that are always um, hardest to get. You were talking, about, you were talking about the uh, Guardian Scholars there. So why don't we bring Neftali into this? Uh, tell us a little bit, Neftali, how has Promises to Kids supported you? Tell us about the organization's impact on, on your life. Of course, Promises to Kids has actually been involved in my life since I entered foster care at 11. They've helped support me with school supplies, back to school clothing, and even holidays as we're talking now. I remember when I first entered foster care, I didn't know what the holidays were going to look like and yeah. let alone if I was going to get any gifts. But I remember that I woke up and my foster parent was like, you have all these gifts. And I actually got my favorite toy it was Monster High dolls. Oh, and wow. even from then, I decided Promises to Kids were some or a program that really helped me. So I registered and became a Guardian Scholar and they still proceed to support me in every aspect. Wow. And how, how old are you now? I am 19. Okay, so for a good eight years here, they've been helping you out, and I can just tell by your smile the incredible impact they've had on you. Um, tell us how else you think they, they're making the, the season brighter for our, our younger kids. Of course, Promises to Kids supports the younger kids by just enjoying, bringing gifts and happiness to children. The smallest things coming from being in foster care, I've known that the smallest thing is a stuffed animal or a blanket are huge to the community, let alone something like a robot or a bike, just something small because we are so used to getting so little or nothing, especially being forgotten over the holidays. So Promises to Kids bringing in these gifts and having these toy drives really impacts our childhood, embracing happiness and making us more make us fit in more with the community when we return back to school. I want to hear, hear about that favorite gift again here real quick. When you received that, you were 11 years old. I mean, tell us about that experience. What was going through your mind? Because I think that's the magical part of all of this. <laughs> I remember I was Chris, it was Christmas and I didn't know what it was going to look like. I lived in a home that she had her own child. So I was like, oh, maybe I'm not going to get anything. But when I woke up, there were four presents like wrapped like in a doll case. And I remember being like, oh my gosh, they're my name on it. And there were like other gifts around the tree that had my name on it. But I just remember the Monster High dolls because I was yeah. really obsessed with that TV show. It was something that I thought was super cool. And so I remember when I opened the dolls, I like, I cried. It was something that I had never had Monster High dolls, let alone I had like a few Cabbage Patch dolls at home. Yeah. But this was my first toy in care that was mine that when I left that placement could come with me and I carried all away with me to my permanent placement because that was my first holiday in care and my very first toy that was my own so it really set like a really big place in my heart for me oh that's great to hear tanya that story's got to touch your heart i mean that's the, why this is so important so why don't you tell us how people can donate what they can do right now yeah absolutely you can uh, visit our website or actually visit your website all the information is on there as well um uh, you can make a cash gift of promises to kids um if that's easiest for you or we have wish lists that are set up and linked 
to both Amazon and uh, Walmart should you just want to go in, find something online quick and easy. It already has our address and it can be drop shipped to us. Um, if you still prefer to be dropping gifts off, um, our offices are open during regular business uh, hours. Just come by, ring the bell, and, and we'll accept your gift and get it to a child in need. Tanya Naftali, thanks so much for your time here this morning. Thank, Thank you. you.